Hey guys, this is Andrew Steinmetz, QAQC Manager with Genco Inc. Coming to you with video two on my series of most common code infractions that I find on job sites. Um, today I want to talk again about strapping, but this time with MC. Um, I believe there's a lot of uh, common misconceptions on this code. Um, the little intricacies in it. Um, what you can and can't do, what is considered supported versus securely fastened, um, and so on. And so what we'll do, just like the other video, is I'll go through a few images from job sites I've been to, and then we'll go over the code. And hopefully by the end of this, you'll understand the code a little bit better um, so that you'll uh, be able to strap these and MCs and you know not have any issues with it. So let's go over a few of the pictures. So the first one I want to show you is a picture of an MC not being strapped within the first 12 inches of from the box. So the code is the, it must be strapped securely fastened in place within 12 inches of every box, um, every gutter, every, you know, uh, starting point. And then every six feet after that, it needs to be supported. So let's go to the next photo. So here's where the misunderstandings come from is right here. And I'm going to have quite a bit of photos of this because this happens a lot. Uh, so the MC comes right out here and immediately goes into the stud punch out um, both sides here. So that is supported but it's not securely fastened in place. So this does not count for strapping purposes for the first 12 inches from a box. Um, it's perfectly fine for the support every six feet, but every 12 inches from the box, it has to be securely fastened in place. So you can't just go through the stud and be good with it. Um, you could use an anti-rattle, um, they are considered a securely fastened support. So if you had anti-rattles here, then that would count. You'd be okay with that. So, um, this is the first instance of this where it just dives directly into the stud and they think that is securely fastened in place. Here we got a, a common mistake where, you know, this one is strapped right here within the first 12 inches. And then the one right next to it is not, um, nine times out of 10, this is somebody that was just trying to get the MC up was just, you know, going along with the rest of the MC trying to get up said to himself, I'll just go back and I'll make sure I strap it down. One thing leads to another, they forget to go back, they forget to strap this. So before moving on, you should always put the straps on um, double check before you're complete with a task that everything is strapped. Um, and this is just a common little forgetful thing. Uh, so let's go on to the next one. Again, here we got the box up here. MC comes through here and it doesn't get supported until here. I did check up there. Uh, it wasn't supported or secured. So again, they just missed the strapping and it's uh, well beyond the 12 inches. Here's another common one, just diving into the wall. Now it could be strapped behind here, um, but if I were an inspector, you know, I can't see that strap. I don't know what it is. I'm going to assume that it's just diving into the wall. This is supported, not securely fastened in place. Again, another instance of just diving into the wall, uh, going through the studs. This is supported, not securely fastened in place. Here we got an example of just too far. Um, this meets the code for three feet, um, but Three feet is not the same code for MC. It's 12 inches, so there would need to be another strap down here. So this is a code violation. Again, another example of diving into the stud. Now, again, you could have an anti-rattle here and it would be secured as long as this is not 12 inches, which it appears it probably is because of the loop. So having a strap up here would be preferred. All right, so let's go over the code. So here we are at 330.30, securing and supporting of MC. Uh, a, general, 
Type MC cable shall be supported and secured by staples, cable ties listed and identified for securement and support. So there's another key thing that you want to look at there is that there are certain zip ties that are listed as uh, securing and supporting uh, for MC. So you just got to pay attention to the zip ties used because not all zip ties are made the same. Um, and there is a specific UL listing for the zip ties that are um, meet code and are listed to be secured and you know, secure and supported uh, uh, cable ties. Straps, hangers, similar fittings or other approved means designed and installed so not to damage the cable. All right, so here's what I really like about this code book. Uh, it is the uh, NFPA 70 um, NEC 2020 workbook. So the workbook has enhanced content, goes into depth on a lot of these codes and explains it a little bit further, really gets rid of that gray area, helps you to understand the code. Uh, it's, it's helped me tremendously to get rid of these little gray areas everybody's always had. So let's read this. A, a difference exists between securing and supporting. Cable that runs horizontally through or on framing members or racks spaced less than six feet apart without additional securing is considered supported. Staples, staples or cable ties are not required as the cable passes through on these members. However, the cable must be secured, fastened in place within 12 inches of the outlet box. There it is right there. Staples, cable ties, or clamps would be necessary to secure a cable. So there's the, you know, the, the smoking gun. You know, that, that's telling you right there, every 12 inches, it does not count just going into a stud. And it shows you a little diagram here. Six feet, supported, required in new construction, 12 inches. And then this is when you're fishing behind the wall, and we'll get to that unsupported cable. Securing, unless otherwise provided, cables shall be secured at intervals not exceeding 1.8 meters, 6 feet. Cables containing four or fewer conductors, size no larger than 10 gauge, shall be secured within 300 millimeters, 12 inches of every box. Cabinet fitting, cabinet fitting or other cable terminations. In vertical installations, listed cables with underground conductors, 250 kcml. Uh, KC mill and larger shall be permitted to be secured at intervals not exceeding three meters, 10 feet. Supporting, unless otherwise provided, cable shall be supported at intervals not exceeding 1.8 meters or six feet. Horizontal runs of type MC cable installed in wooden or metal framing members or similar supporting means shall be considered supported and secured where such support does not exceed six feet. So that can get a little tricky there because it says supported and secured, but this is talking about the six feet. This is not talking about the 12 inches where it says, however, the cable must be secured fast in place within 12 inches of the outlet box. So this is just talking about the six feet. Now here's another little uh, crucial one that you need to know is the unsupported cable when you don't need to support. Type MC cable shall be permitted to be unsupported and unsecured where the cable complies with any of the following. One is fish between access points through concealed spaces in finished buildings or structures and supporting is impractical. Two is not more than 1.8 meters, six feet in length from the last point of cable support to the point of connection to the luminaries or other electrical equipment in the cable and point of connection are within accessible ceiling. So that's a lighting whip. So if you're using it for lighting um, or other equipment and it's in an accessible ceiling, drop ceiling, or just anywhere where you can access it, if it's let six feet and less, you do not need to support that cable or strap it down um, six feet or less. But here's the, the little part that you need to know is that it may not be need to be supported, but if that MC is resting on the ceiling grid, then it does need to be supported. 
because when it's resting on the ceiling grid, the it cannot be supported. The MC cable cannot be supported by the ceiling grid. That is a code. Um, you will need to support it if it's resting on the ceiling grid. Same goes with the slack wire that supports the MC. And I see this a lot on job sites. Using the slack wire that holds up the uh, ceiling grid is a no-no. That is against code. Um, the only slack wire we can use to uh, support our cables are the ones specifically uh, installed to hold our fixtures. Or if slack wire is installed for us, that is specifically for um, supporting our uh, MC or EMT or whatever. So it has to be specific for us. It cannot be used to support the grid and it cannot lay on the grid. So that's a key point I want you guys to know. Number three is a type MC of interlocked armor type in lengths exceeding 900 millimeters, three feet from the last point where it is securely fastened and is used to connect equipment where flexibility is necessary to minimize transmission of vibrations from equipment or to provide flexibility or equipment that requires movement after installation. For those purposes of this section, type MC cable fittings shall be permitted as a means of cable support. So what number three is talking about is transformers. Anything that vibrates, uh, moves around, that it needs that little bit of wiggle. Um, so the strap would you know, hinder that. So um, that's three feet though. So you just, you can't have more than three feet without uh, securing. And you can have that three feet if it's for something that has motion or transfers uh, vibrations. So, that's the uh, code on MC strapping. I hope that helps clear up the air on some of this stuff. Um, and I'll be back again with video number three with the next uh, code infractions that we run into. But thank you very much and have a great day.